Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Test Stop here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the top and best Joe Routines, 5 is 11, 12, 13, and 14. The first tweak is called Flitz Range for Netflix, <clears throat> and this compared with iOS 8 to 14, that, um, Netflix version 9.x.x to 13.x.x. Uh, um, that's tested with version 13.36.0. Please be aware that this tweet will only work with the titles that are presented in English. So, Flitz Range is a tweet that presents the user with an enhanced rating from a popular online website, provides user and career uh, reviews for various pornography directly within the Netflix application for iOS. So, when available, this additional rating is seamlessly shown underneath the title of the summary page for any given movie or TV show. Pretty cool. You basically tap on that rating. Um, you can see, I guess, like a critic, you know, review and what they say about the, the show or movie. Uh, I would not obviously base this on if you're gonna watch a show or movie. If it looks good, just try it out. Worst gonna worse, you don't like it, and you just don't have to watch it. Um, but you know, the reviews do definitely set like a tone, and they do. Um, they're pretty accurate for the most part. But like I said, just because someone doesn't like it, uh, doesn't mean that you're not gonna like it. So uh, don't go by reviews as always. But uh, you know. This is actually pretty cool because it tells you the reviews. Uh, so legacy feature for skip. So I guess this allows you to basically like skip um, the app. Yeah, skip by natively. So you can skip uh, for, for skip tweak. Feature of this tweak is fun functional. We use the cast feature since Netflix does not give provided way to do that natively. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. And we have Flitz range for Netflix legacy. So this is like the order version. Uh, has been rebranded to Flitz Range for Netflix. This package changes repositories for new purchases. And yeah, if you already have purchased Flitz Range, you can continue to use this version as it will continue to receive. Uh, so, compared with iOS 8 to 14 and Netflix version tested 13.36.0, it will work with titles that are presented in English. Um, yeah, so pretty much the same thing as the other tweak. And you also have that, le that legacy feature forward skip. You can watch the video on it right here on basically how to use a tweak and exactly what it does. Next week is called Music Banners, and this is the old one by Ryan Petrich. Display banners for track changes in Notification Center on last screen and as alerts. So if you guys wonder why I make some videos or do some videos on tweets that are like older, um, it's because some people still have like older, you know, iOS, like maybe like they have an old iPod or like an iPhone 2G or maybe iPhone 3 or 4, and they just, you know, obviously they need older tweets that are compatible with it. So that's why I do throw some of these older tweets in there. And a lot of these tweets are like pretty cool because some of them are like older versions like this one and then there's gonna be a newer version i'm gonna show you which supports like you know the, late, the later iOS versions like iOS 13 and 14. like i said this is the other one music banners by level j3 uh tj G replace the music action HUD with the non intrusive banners. So, this is like your updated one that would support like iOS 13 and 14. This is called BH Twitter and download videos, enable voice tweet and voice message in DM. You also, download videos even if the account is private. Hype promoted tweets from the timeline. Confirm alert when hit the tweet button. Confirm alert when hit the like button. And newly released tweet by Amy Weil is called Grapher. And this does need at least iOS 13 to 14 point nets to work and to actually install it. Um, if obviously anything below or not between iOS 13 and 14 point nets, you cannot install and use this tweak. This tweak is a uh, graph for logs, battery discharge, and temperature for each app on your phone, and then graphs it in the app. So, uh, pretty cool. This is called Tweak Restrictor and allows you to disable all tweets and apps, such as PayPal or Snapchat, to prevent bans. This is called Tweak Reviews DB. Easily read and uh, create reviews about your tweets with Tweak Reviews DB with Facilio, Zebra, Cydia, and Installer 5. Uh, I use an alternative to this one. It's called uh, Tweak or Tweets Compatible, and that's basically based on the user. So we would, you know, play really similar to this week right here, Tweak Reviews DB. You would just mark it if it's working or not working, and you basically lets other people know if it's working or not working based on your iOS version. So it's pretty cool, really ham really helpful, and it really helps you from installing like a bad tweak or a tweak that's not compatible, and that could give you a boot loop or mess up your device. So it, it can definitely save your jailbreak. Um, and also the great thing is that even if the developer stops updating, like the developer actually not updated uh, tweets compatible or tweet compatible in like I think like two years or a year and a half, but it doesn't really matter because as long as you can install it. We, we, the users, we mark packages as working or not working, so that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if, you know, as long as it's compatible for you to download, that's all that it matters because we actually mark the packages as working or not working, so it's up to us, the users, to make that tweak better. Obviously, more people that install it, you have a more majority of, like, versions and people trying tweets and letting you know if it's working or not working so you can see what versions certain tweets work on and if you should or should not install it. Obviously, if there's a bunch of reviews that says it's not working, it's just not going to work with that iOS version. This is called Circube for YouTube and download YouTube videos and more. So, it requires the App Store version. Um, you have these features right here. 
and minor bug fixes and improvements. She's caught Pojav Launcher, iOS Dev, uh, Minecraft Java Edition uh, for iOS. She's caught Nitrius or Nitrus and featured in Life Hacker's Best Jailbreak tweets for both iOS 6 and iOS 7, where it's on the iOS 4.3 through iOS 9, and launched the Nitro just in time JavaScript engine to give your apps a speed boost. Nitrius and launched the faster Nitro JavaScript G JIT compiler that is normally reserved only for Apple's um, own apps. So, yeah, pretty cool. It uh, makes your, uh, I guess, apps faster in a way, improves JavaScript performance. She's called Rocket for Instagram and gives you basically a bunch of cool features for Instagram, made by the same person who uh, made Circuit for YouTube. You have all these features for the Instagram app. Make sure you guys download Instagram from the App Store and then install this tweak. It should take effect automatically with that Instagram app you install from the App Store. She's called Package Repo. Package Repo. She's called Telegram No Separators, Move Table View Cell Separators from Telegram. Please call it Telegram No Secret, also mobile subject tweak. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Catching this one, like, comment, subscribe, and